Okay. Hello everyone. I am just getting things set up here. Okay, so I am going to be continuing now with Ten Fingered Tim, the Space Pirate. As a quick review, I have been raiding with a little fleet. I started with an enforcer, which I made into a safety overrides converted hangar ship with two assault chain guns and a heavy machine gun. I had a hound with me, which I left as its default variant, which does a it does a pretty good job. And I had a Buffalo Mark II, which I gave an extra salamander once I found one, and also turned it into converted hangers with talons. And that was my little raiding fleet at start. And so far I have picked up a pair a lasher, a wolf, uh, a couple cargo ships which I might uh, ditch because I think, yes, they are slowing me down. They are slowing me down to burn eight. So I might uh, scrap these. I have a Gemini, which I recovered, which has been doing really well. Uh, a Condor, which is, which is also pretty good. And what will probably turn into the pride of my fleet, once I get uh, some decent guns for it, you can see I just kind of slapped on whatever, is a Falcon that I managed to steal. So this has the whole mod performance irregularities from Vera's sector, but that's the only D mod, which is a pretty good deal. Let's see, I have one officer, Shooty Olympus, which I didn't change that name, it's just a great name, and it actually looks like I need to level her up. So I'm going to do that right now. So I don't want carrier command, but I'll, I'll get those missiles up to spec. She was originally on the Buffalo Mark II, Okay, the, the missile skill isn't going to do great with those annihilators, but she'll get to a more appropriate ship later. Right now I want her because she's aggressive with various offense boosters. Okay, quickly I'm going to outfit my recently recovered wolf. This has glitch sensor rate, which is not great, but luckily it, all my D-mods are only at half strength. And inoperable automated systems, which is another Vera D-mod. So maximum combat readiness reduced by 5%, minimum crew requirements increased 25%. Fine. Not great, but not too bad. Oh, that's why I didn't outfit this. I have absolutely no guns to put on this. Well, it's going to get an LRPD laser and that's it. I really need to go back to port now. I'm kind of, uh, kind of out of options in terms of what to do. Okay. I have been raiding in the Valhalla slash Ragnar start, uh, system, and I'm going to head back to Karas in the Yamaha system just as soon as I've finished up with this debris field. Okay, so there's an atlas here. Eh, nothing, nothing much. I'll just pick it, pick up its stuff, and let's see. Oh, I must have already salvaged this several times. Well, that happens. Okay, so I am going to try to make my way down to the Valkyrie jump point without attracting too much attention. I have really, um, I really pissed off the hegemony patrols, kind of preying on them. So I'm not going to activate my sustained burn. I'm just going to, oh, you can see that my, my sensor rating is terrible. Oof, that's really bad. Let's see. Could I take... I could take something to try to fix that. But I really need to start getting into combat skills. It's kind of absolutely essential for me to start getting some combat skills. Okay, approaching the jump point. I don't see anyone else around. I think I'm good. Okay, yeah. That's good. Got out of the system. I don't want to fight that. I can't take that right now. And where is a jump point that is close to Karas? Um, 
I suppose I could... I could blitz my way out of the star, but I don't really want to waste the supplies, so... I'll go through the Yamabi jump point. Keep my transponder off. Jump through dark. Doesn't look like there's anyone around. That's good. Hmm. Something there, but not too interested. So, it is time for me to see what Karas has for sale for me. I have quite a few ships that I need to outfit. But first, officers. There are no officers. Nothing, no missions at the bar. Okay. I might as well sell off my metals and those two volatiles and this ore. A tiny amount of money, but you know, something is better than nothing. Now, what do we have for sale? We have some heavy blasters. That is useful. We have some heavy auto cannons. We have some pulse lasers. These are all good weapons for the ships that I need to outfit. And we have some PD lasers. Okay, I think I have a pretty good idea of what I can do. So I'm going to start with this Falcon. And I need to choose if I'm going to keep a heavy blaster on it and if I'm going to keep this converted hangar bay. Hmm. Let's see what I can do. So first of all, I am going to get another kinetic gun. Get another heavy auto cannon. That'll give me a good kinetic firepower to break shields. We can keep it to one heavy blaster. And I'll get rid of the converted hangar for now. And load this up with four, maybe five. PD lasers? It's kind of an unusual setup. But we have a decent number of capacitors. We have maxed flux dissipation, which is still way under the dissipation that, that this ship could handle. And I think I'm going to replace the annihilators with salamanders, because this officer has level 3 missile spe specialization. So these salamanders will be extra effective. All right, let's run a quick simulation and just see how this ship does against, um... Let's do the long-ranged hammerhead. So this is usually the way I evaluate ships, is I just run a quick couple sims just to see whether, you know, all the weapon groups are working, whether or not there's some horrible design flaw. Oh, hey, Scipion. How's it going? So the ship's not firing its salamanders. That's kind of annoying. I wonder... Let's give it an eliminate order. There it goes. So you can see that the salamanders are extra fast, but... They fired them way too far apart, so we're going to link those. And you know what? I'm just going to link them to the heavy auto cannons. There is no reason to not be uh, spewing salamanders. Oh no, I'm sorry, your Kindle is not charging well. Let's try that one more time. So for those of you who've never seen it before, if you really want your missiles to fire, you can link them to your main guns. And that can help a lot. So there we go. We have the flame out from the salamanders. That's what we want. The ship is... Oh, there it is. It's closing in. It actually used its flux pretty perfectly there, which you don't see very often. It stayed at range firing. Oh, but it really should be firing the heavy blaster right now. I think that the ship just won't... Hmm. Yeah, the Heavy Blaster is just too flux-intensive, and the AI doesn't want to fire it. Maybe we should go back to this Heavy Mortar, Heavy Auto Cannon combo. Even though I just slapped it on kind of at random, maybe that is what is going to be best on this ship. And let's see... 
this is still very overflux. So maybe it might it still might not fire these pulse lasers. Let's see what it does. Hey Ray May, how are things how are things doing? Yeah, the AI is is being a bit dumb, but I try to I I try to do make variants that work well with the with the AI even if it's being dumb. So it looks like the first salamander hit a rock, which is not great. So there's so there's that Vera custom hole mod making a malfunction happen. I wonder if that's temporary or not. So there we go. There's the flame out. The ship is just not... Alright, there's the eliminate order. Hmm... I wish I had an ion beam. I would put an ion beam instead of both of these pulse lasers. They're really just kind of a waste at this point. Because the ship's really struggling to close in. They're also... They have fairly low armor penetration. Alright, there it goes. The ship's in range. It's firing... Actually, yeah, the dual the dual pulse can the dual pulse lasers work pretty well. They have really quite high DPS. There we go. Cool. So this will this will do as a variant. Okay, what else do I need to outfit? I need to outfit a wolf. Um, we're actually gonna give it a heavy blaster, which is a little. A little odd, but I want it to have better armor penetrating ability than most than most wolves, because it's mainly going to be fighting low tech ships. And we're just going to go all in on salamanders for this fleet, which is something that I usually don't do. Oh no, I don't have any more for sale. Nah, we'll do we'll do matched harpoons, and this will be a finisher a finisher wolf. There we go. So it's it's incredibly overfluxed, but hopefully it'll be acting in concert with other frigates, and it'll kind of be my frigate armor breaker. Let's see, this is just a a buffalo. I can slap on military subsystems to it. That'll bring its burn up to nine, which is acceptable. Other than that, I really can I get can I fit safety overrides on this? I can't. It's too many. So I will put Unstable Injector to give it just a chance of running. But let's be honest, if this gets caught, it's going to die. Finally, a Tarsus. Um, same deal. I can put on... Let me just strip these off for a second. Militarized Subsystems and... Oh, this one can get Safety Overrides. So it will. So this this will be able to run very fast. Well, I mean, you know, 75 speed plus burn drive fast, so it'll be able to retreat. That is good. Let's see. Yeah, it's not great. Cool. So my fleet is back up to burn 9. I actually have pretty good cargo capacity with these three cargo ships, one of which is also a half carrier. My combat ca capacity is pretty decent. I think I need a lot more fuel. A uh, crew, a lot more crew. Yeah. So let's see. That's that is a perfectly acceptable amount of amount. Let's see. Let's sell off or store all that. Okay. Supplies are in deficit. Fuel is in deficit. So I'll get those. I'll get those somewhere else. I'm just gonna get a few more heavy machinery for salvaging. And do I really want any of these whole mods? Ooh, actually, makeshift shield generator. I do want that one. 
So here, we, here I'm still going with exciting, exciting refits. But I would rather have... Let's see, how much is a makeshift shield generator? It's 10. I'd rather have the makeshift shield generator than I would have that animated antimatter blaster. Yeah. There we are. Okay. And the hound as well. It makes it slower, but it it's just so much more um so much more hit points, especially when just trading shots with other frigates. Okay. So I am quite happy with this fleet. I'm going to save. And let me look to see where I might have some good opportunities. So there, Vera Sector has added some bounties. They have added um, bounties, like if, if you're commissioned with the pirates. So let me see. Oh, they're all so far away. Uh, yeah, all the bounties from Vera Sector are always so far away. Um... Yeah, I don't, I don't feel like doing those, especially because I don't have a tanker yet. And I don't want to buy a tanker. I want to, uh, I want to capture a tanker. And let's see, there's no more faction bounties. I was getting some money from the Tritac of all people, and you can see that I actually moved to Inhospitable because they had a faction bounty on the hegemony. Okay, well I think I am just gonna pop over to Salamanca. And I'll, I'll prey on any ships that I see. And that'll that'll both give me some hunting. And it should also, if I don't kill anything near the planet, I will smuggle out some fuel and supplies and stuff. Oh, here we go. So the Tritachian just re renewed their bounty. So I can hunt Hegemony and Ludic Church and raise my reputation with them with the Tritac and also get some extra money. So I think I might... Okay, well, I'm going to pop over to Salamanca just anyway. But then I'm going to go hunt some hegemony. Okay, what do we got here? Fast picket. I can take that? And I kind of want the mule. I don't, I don't really want a heron yet. Just because I don't want to get slowed down to burn eight. Let's see, are they going to see me? They are going to see me. Okay, well, if I get a heron, I get a heron. It's not not the end of the world. Let's see. This will be a decent deployment. But we're pirates. I'll deploy my, my pirate ships. Now, one of the things I'm still not used to with the safety overrides enforcer is that it gets the zero flux bonus all the time, including when it burn drives. So I'm always burn driving just at the worst moments. Well, not the worst moments, just I'm burn driving too much. Oh, hello there. We got some fighters inbound, but my own talons disrupted them. All right, there's that falcon. It's pushing a little bit. I am going to close in. Ah, if only I'd been there a little sooner, its shields would have been down to catch the salamanders. But it's still fine. These two assault chain guns just have so much DPS. It doesn't re- Oh! Wow. That is an officered heron. You see how fast those Kopesh came in? And they were boosted by the ship system. That was a good strike. I... wow. I'm, I'm actually really glad they targeted me and not my buffalo. The buffalo would have just instantly popped to that. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to shoot down these Kopeshes on their way back. And I'm too close to burn drive. Okay, you actually retreat. If you can. This wolf might be dead. It's way out of position. Um, my lasher is winning. Just keep going. You're just kind of faffing about, but whatever. Um, let's get an eliminate on that. 
Okay, I have a cloud of fighters around me, which is actually kind of nice. Oh, that was the wrong button. A wrong button, do you hear me? Instead of instead of turning my ship, I burn drive straight into the enemy and turn my rear to them. But at, so far, at least, I seem to have weathered that without dying too badly. Okay, there we go. Heron's down. Um, I think this wolf is going to live because the enemy just started retreating. Alright, let me just actually burn drive at the right time. Hey, that's one of my better burn drives I've done. I'm slowly getting used to the ridiculous burn drive rate range that this ship has. Now, those two frigates, the Wolf and the Hound, they're going to be coming north to retreat. So I'm just going to... Let's see if I can pick them off. Get over here. Sure. There we go. So there's the Hound. And I'm going to deploy my fighters to attack it. Now, the nice thing about having safety overrides is that I never lose my zero flux bonus, so I can move at full speed even though my fighters were deployed. Ooh, that worked really well. And actually, I'm just going to, yeah, I'm just going to let those fighters off the leash again. In general, frigates have very poor ability to defend against fighters. And you can see that even though that these are demod fighters, that they still they're still doing pretty well against that wolf. I think it might get away and I'm actually I don't really want to charge with no shields into that heavy blaster. Well, I'm going to do it anyway. I got plenty of hull points. Oh, is it going to be distracted? It they, it is. The wolf is distracted by the fighters and didn't shoot me. Ah, oh, but it escaped. I kind of messed up when I got to the south of the wolf. I should have just tracked to the north and let my fighters engage. Okay, well, wolf, you have you have honorably honorably gotten away, so I'll let you go. Um, sure, I'll take a brawler. Brawlers are pretty reliable. Don't really want another hound though. Oh ho ho! Hello there. Well, you look very nice. Integrated targeting unit. I am very pleased with getting ITU from a bounty. And I'll just pick all of these up. Not even a bounty, just from a random fight. So I'll be installing that when I get to a port. And here is the lovely thing about the character skill that gives me 50% of hull and armor damage repaired after the end of the combat, is that I can fly like absolute crap, and you can see that my hull and armor are actually in pretty decent shape. Okay, so how about this brawler? What do I have for it? Sure, I can put on heavy mortar. Arbalest is not great. We can throw on some sabos? Yeah, let's give it some sabos. This will actually have a pretty good alpha punch to it. It is undergun though, so I'm actually going to swap to a heavy auto cannon, even though it cost me nine supplies, but I'm still going to do it. Uh, actually, no, I'm not, <laughs> because I I want to max out this thing's capacitors or close to it, and I want to give it that ITU because. It has, it has naturally pretty good range for a frigate because it has medium guns. Even though these are both 700s, I might replace these with thousands later if I get some like HVDs. But now this is up to 840 range, which should let it actually do some like standoff firing even against frigates. Okay, we'll just we'll just auto the weapon groups. That's fine. And we have a new little frigate to help in our conquest. Now I think I was too close to um I think I was too close to the world. Yes, my recent hostile actions mean that I can't mean that I can't dock. But 
Alright, what are you? You're independent. Oh hell, why not? I can take that fleet. I'm gonna save first, just in case. But, you know, this is a target. Let's see what I get. They have no cargo. You know what? I'm going to leave them alone. They're smugglers. Oh, and... Oh, okay, well, apparently this is the enemy I'm going to be fighting. I'm actually really glad I didn't do that other combat because I would have been stuck. Jeez. Okay, so this fleet that I'm fighting has level 6. Level six. Okay, low-level officers, uh, some fighters, some bombers, some frigates. This is going to be a nice fight. Um, none of these have demods. I would love to recover any of these destroyers. That would be just great. Alright, I am going to do... Um, I'm just going to do a full deploy. Even this thing. Like, 39% combat readiness is bad, but because of the industry perk, it's not going to suffer malfunctions at that level. Alright, I am going to throw a quick defend order, though, because I don't want my frigates to be running off like they did last time. And I'm actually going to get... I'm going to try to coordinate my fighters here. I would really like these frigates to die to fighters. Um, but I am going to try to hunt their carriers myself. Just because some of my lighter ships will not be able to survive a carrier strike from these enemies. Okay, those are the Atropos. What are you armed with? Oh, what a strange outfit variant. So, four light mortars and assault chain gun. You know, that looks like a really shitty armament, and in many ways it is, but light mortars are actually a pretty good choice for an enforcer, because enforcers have terrible, um, terrible flux efficiency, and light mortars are good at that. Okay, let's see what I can do. I'm going to get in here. I'm going to fire off my stuff. I'm winning the flux battle. I'm going to fire off... Ooh, my Reaper didn't fly. I think it must be disabled. There we go. So those four harpoons were actually from my Buffalo Mark II. So nice to see some cool fire support going on. Oh, I just got hit by a Atropos that I didn't see coming. I have my shields down, down to recover flux. That was a mistake. But luckily, I have a skill which will... Um, cover for the fact that I'm a shitty, shitty pilot. Alright, how is the rest of the fight going? Um, it's going really well. So this, this ship looks damaged, but you can see how its armor is pristine. That's because um, it was damaged before it went into the fight, but it's actually doing really well. You can see it's just chipping this hound away. Oh, the hound is, the hound is a heavy mortar. It's not going to be able to do anything to a brawler. Let's see, I'm going to cancel that order. Let the wolf help. The slasher is all the fuck over here, but it's working. It's working. My Buffalo Mark II did provide missile support and fighter support. This is going really well. I deployed a pretty big fleet. Ooh, it got hit by an Atropos, though. I deployed a pretty big fleet to take it out, and I think I'm not going to have any trouble finishing this. Uh, get up there and get the kill. I'm just going to get in here. Assault chain guns, you can see they're actually tearing through the enemy fighters pretty well. Because they have such high DPS and good efficiency, they actually are good anti-fighter weapons. As crazy as it is, you just fire more bullets. Fire more bullets at the fighters and they'll die. Okay, here we go. I need to be just a bit careful not to get hammered by this thing's missile complement. I'm going to need to husband my flux a little bit, or just miss with two reapers. Although I think I actually blocked an Atropos with that reaper. That was kind of cool. All right, so that's the fight. It's basically over. Um, let's see if we can just mop up this last wolf. It might get away. Wolves are good at getting away. Ah, so much. I took, so, I took a lot of damage this fight, but that doesn't really matter. Yes, pirate fleet. Go! Go! 
I'm really enjoying having having this converted hangar bay. I normally don't play with them, but with the negative effects halved, it's just nice to have this. It it breaks up incoming fighter attacks. They don't they don't like it, so and they don't focus on your flagship the way they should. Okay, and you can tell that they've distracted the wolf enough that I was able to get close. And this armament is just too much for a wolf to handle. Okay, that was a nice, pretty clean fight, even though I took a bunch of damage. Let's see if I get any of them. Okay, nice. I'm getting a drover with just a fuel problems. Oh, do I want do I want defective manufacturing? You know, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it because um, it's a good freighter. You know, it's a 250 capacity freighter, if nothing else, and it's still a fighter bay with the reserve deployment system, which is very powerful. Okay, let's see. Um, not a bad haul. Got some decent guns. Some supplies, although I don't think enough supplies to actually make up for the fight since I'm recovering. Let's see how the scavenge in the field goes. Oh, a little bit. Let's see. Ooh, 115 supplies to finish repairing all my stuff. That's a lot. I took more damage in that fight. I am over-deploying a little bit, I think. Alright. That's actually going to leave me kind of critically short. Ugh. I think I need to go back to Karas to buy supplies because I can't buy them there. And that's going to be really expensive because there's a supply shortage going on there, but there is... it really can't be helped. Ooh! Wanted status! So, I have a $200,000 bounty on me. Credit bounty. But it's not a very strong one. Bounties will eventually decay with time. Bounty hunters can be avoided by staying a short distance away a very short time. So I'm going to have some bounty hunters after me, but they're not going to try super hard. And hopefully they're small enough that they will be snacks, as it were. Okay, so I have two character points. That's very nice. I am going to... I'm actually just going to increase my aptitude to two and increase my impact mitigation by two, but I would really like defensive subsystems two and target analysis two, probably as my next four skill points. Okay, any missions? No. An admin, but I'm not doing colonies yet. I can sell this metal for a, a little bit. I can sell some of these less useful weapons or common weapons that I know I'll probably be able to buy because I don't I don't want to pay too much in storage costs I might maybe I should find a planet somewhere okay so I need supplies and they're gonna be pricey that's a pity any smuggling opportunities eh, I could try to get these into Chickamauga's talk but that's heavily defended and not a great margin no margin at all there. None there. No margin there. Eh, no, no, I don't... I prefer fighting and smuggling. Not great opportunity. Okay, that was really expensive, but... Not as expensive as it would be to buy a pair of destroyers. Okay, so let's outfit these ships. We are going to give some harpoons. And do I have any decent mid-sized guns I could put on this? I could just give it another flat cannon, but I do like Gemini's having a real gun. Let's see, performance irregularities. Uh, more CR stuff. Defective manufacturing... So the defective manufacturing is equivalent to making something a converted hangar. That that's a pity. Okay. This is going to get just I'm just gonna give it some talons. Because with the defective manufacturing 
and the increased damage. Talons, talons are just always good to have. We're just going for fighter superiority here. And this is going to be a... Yeah, we'll just give it a... We'll just give it a heavy mortar for some HE damage, just to ward things off. And... I'm not going to give it an unstable injector because it, it already has that penalty on its fighters. It doesn't need more penalties on its fighters. The capacitors and vents will just hopefully keep it alive for a little while something attacks it. Let's see, this ship is going to get that beautiful ITU that I got. This is an SO ship, so it doesn't get ITU. And here we have... Yes. Yes, a Drover. Now, normally I would give Drovers fighters, but my fleet already has several fighters. Um, really quite a few. Wait, what? Wow. Okay, that wasn't even filled. Well, that's embarrassing. I must never have refit this from from when I was uh, when I recovered it. Okay, that's a much more reasonable loadout. Anyway, as I was saying, my ship, my fleet already has quite a few fighters. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, five talons, six talons, and a broadsword. So I'm gonna give this ship. I'm gonna give this ship some bombers, and I do like daggers and I'm gonna throw these Kopesh on it because they have very near the same speed and they should hopefully provide some um, kind of point defense saturation that the daggers can then take advantage of. Now I'm actually gonna give the ship a railgun which might seem a little odd but the, the flux stacks on drovers are not terrible so I'm just gonna give it a gun so it can just poke at things. Let's see, last, hamper said, last hamster said probably a while ago, so I'm sorry I didn't see this. It's not a proper pirate playthrough until you have a bounty placed on your head. Damn right it's not. Well, there's there's a bounty. Let's see, I am going to load this drover up with harpoons. And unfortunately, I don't have extended missile racks yet, but that's fine. This will just provide some harpoon fire support. And it's loaded up with capacitors, so hopefully it'll be able to take a few rounds if threatened. And I'm go also going to switch that for harpoons. So my, f my fleet now actually has pretty good harpoon strike power in its carrier support group. I'm not going to put harpoons on the condor just because the salamander works so well with fast missile racks. Okay, so my, my fleet has grown to 13 ships, which is a lot bigger than it used to be. I think I have quite a few with bad um, bad fuel efficiency. So my fuel per light year is 26, so that's not great. So at some point, I might wanna do a fleet overhaul trying for fuel economy, but that point is not is not now. All right, and I'm just going to I'm going to store these, but I wonder if that's going to rack up a really high fee. I really do need to get a colony at some point. Let's see, is there anything... Is there anything decent here? I suppose I could take over Salamanca, but Salamanca kind of sucks. Let's see. Um, eh, I'll think about this later. I have raiding to do. Oh! Tarantoga says I can put on chat timestamps and options. I will look into doing that for my next str next stream. I'm working from a slightly different setup. I'm in a different home office than I was before because of, you know, the plague. And I don't have the second monitor I had, so I'm kind of working off a side laptop, which is a little weird. Okay, so I have my commission to help make me money, and there is this tri tachyon faction bounty. And I, so I'm going to go try to hunt some, some hegemony again. It's what I did last time, but I really enjoy it. I, I do think that 
Coatl is gonna be like Chickamostock and Coatl might be too good too like might just kick my ass. But maybe I can take off some of the Jungala patrols. And the advantage of this is that Garnier is there to give me supplies and refits. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go down to Corvus and try to hunt some of those hegemony patrols. And maybe that'll maybe that'll go really badly, but you know. Saves exist for a reason. Alright. There we go. I'm gonna leave Independent Channel alone just a little bit. Okay, so here is... Here is Garnier. I'm just gonna check in for officers. Nope. And just a, just a spy. Okay, so Jungala is actually frighteningly close, and there might be some very large patrols, but maybe there'll be some small patrols. I'm gonna come over... Oh, that's tempting, but I don't... Oh, I don't... No, I don't think I can... You know, those are probably high-level officers, and god, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... There's 11 officers in that fleet. No, I, I don't want to tangle with that right now. I'm going to let that one stand down. I also, if I'm going to take on Dominators, I want more heavy bombers than I have. Okay, let's see, what do we got? Oh god, it's even worse. Okay, this might not be a good system for me if that's making heavy patrols that have onslaughts and heavy cruisers. I just can't take onslaughts and heavy cruisers with this light fleet. Well, maybe a lone onslaught, but it would be... Oh, shit. I just turned off my going dark and it saw me. I should be faster than it. Unless that nav buoy lets it get away. Uh, okay. Okay, the it's AI just glitched out. That's nice. Okay. But it's going to look for me, but it's um, hopefully won't find me. I'm actually going to dodge back. I see it just went for the um, it just went for the jump point I saw on my minimap. Okay, what do we got here? Salvage fleet on a salvage expedition. Ooh, that's a lot of fuel. I could use a fuel tanker. Let's see if I can take this thing out before it gets to the jump point. Ah, I could barely got through. I don't know if the hegemony fleet is on the other side. I'm gonna give it a shot. It was, okay. I went through dark luxury, but I'm gonna jump I'm gonna jump back in. I don't I just don't want to tangle with that. Um Oh, that is doable though. Okay, here's our fight. I'm gonna save. I, I want that Eagle 14. Eagle 14s are lovely. Okay, so the Eagle and the Dominator are going to be trouble, but I should be able to take I should be able to take that. All right. We're going to do a full deploy. And let's see what let's see what we get. I've got a good number of fighters. They're going to have high level officers. It looks like, okay, they're, they're pulling back, which means they have escort orders on. I am going to order Fighter Strike on the Sunder. They tend to be dangerous, but, but pretty fragile. Ooh, okay, it's an SO Sunder. So i got to be a little careful about that. Oh, it's flamed out, though. It's flamed out right in front of me. That was a beautiful work by the salamanders. You know, I always bitch about salamanders when they hit me, and I really need to use them more, because that was that was salamanders from a level 3 officer, like the level 3 skill, and it just... that killed the Sunder. Okay, the enemy is splitting up into two distinct groups. It looks like my fighters are swarming this frigate, and I am great with that. I want my falcon to engage their eagle. 
because it looks like my frigates are distracting the Dominator. Now, by itself, Falcon can't take an Eagle, but I'm going to back it up. I'm going to back it up with my SO Enforcer, which should get the job done. Okay, let's see. So here we are. I chased off the wolf. I'm going to fire off a Reaper. We have a hit. That's one hit with a Reaper. I'm going to back off just a bit so that my... Oop. My flux goes down, and I'm going to need a shield against those harpoons. Oh, there's the overload. Wow, look at all those sabos. And there is a... There's a couple harpoons that could have used a little more harpoons. Oh, the buffalo, the buffalo's dead. Okay, well, that is unfortunate, but there's nothing that can do, be done there. My hound is almost dead. I'm going to tell it to retreat, but it's probably going to survive. Um... All right, I'm just going to fire off this Reaper, and my ships should be able to finish it off. I think I need to get down here and try to help my carriers. There it goes. Bombers got it. All right. Let's see. Yeah. You get down here. Ooh, beautiful. I'm behind it. I have to be careful of that. Um, I have to be a little careful of that. Uh, vigilance because it has a t it has a it has a reaper it has that medium reaper so if it if it pumps a reaper into me I'm actually I will not like that I will not enjoy that experience. Hey, there's some bomber hits. So the drover the drover bombers are doing really good. I mean, here I am. That burn drive was fast enough to get me in its engine. The light machine guns on the back of this thing aren't. Oh, fuck me. Well. I said I needed to watch out for that Vigilance. I was unsuccessful. And I think I'm going to retreat that ship. With 220 hull. Yeah, I'm just going to retreat it. And I guess I'm going to take command of... the Falcon... Ew, yeah. Kind of unfortunate, but at least I survived that Reaper Strike. Okay, so I'm going to turn my Pulse Lasers back on. Quick Vent. No, I said Retreat! Jesus Christ! Well, the AI just cost me an enforcer. That's fun. Is it going to make it out? Good. All right. I got way too close in a Falcon to try to save it. Took a Hellbore round, took another Hellbore round. But I got away, venting. All right, my flankers are coming back in. My carriers are holding back and doing their jobs. I'm just going to entertain this. Hey, there's that heavy blaster. Remember I put that heavy blaster? That's doing a good job. And I should remember to fire my main guns. All right. So the Dominator actually went down really reasonably. Um, you know, the AI would not have been hit with, with the missile that hit me. I was distracted talking to y'all, and yeah. Reaper to the face. Well, that was exciting. I might submit a bug report about that enforcer behavior. That's not, uh, that's not natural. Haha, <laughs> yes, I will blame all of you in chat. You can tell that I'm not piloting well. Okay, well, still, I think we won the battle with minimal losses. I think I lost a Hound. I lost a Buffalo Mark II. But I have a chance at recovering quite a lot. Oh no, the Hound retreated. Good. Good, good, good. So all I lost was my Buffalo Mark II. Let's see. Um, just... Whatever. Cool. 
and we get our Buffalo Mark II back with misshapen turret gyros. That's fine. Uh, well, we I could get the uh, Dominator if I want. Question is, do I want a Dominator right now? You know what? Ah, uh, it's gonna slow me down a burn level, but it's a big heavy ship. On the other hand, I don't have the supplies for it. You know what? I'm actually not going to recover the Buffalo Mark II. But I am going to recover the Dominator. All right, how much did I get? Not a huge amount. Let's see what's in the field. Some. Oh, the total supplies for French repairs is only 58. The display had it at 100 and something. Interesting. I wonder if that display doesn't take into account the skills that give me 50% repair. Hmm. Okay, let me see what... Do I have anything on hand? I really have absolutely nothing on hand to arm this Dominator. So I'm just going to throw some random crap on it. And it'll get absolutely trashed by anything if it gets into combat. <laughs> oh, it's got a railgun up front. You see that? There's a railgun there. Cool. I mean, I guess I'll just uh, load it up with goodies. Converted hangar bay, talon. This is a t this is a terrible terrible loadout, but you know what? It's got a couple guns. A very very small number of guns. Yes, this is the latest latest armed dominator ever to sail to fly the seven sectors. All right, I'll give one more scavenge here. Give me a little bit more stuff. And that should be it. And a quick save. Hey, I have another bounty, this time from the Hegemony. Now, I believe I got a fairly decent payoff from this. Let's see. It's always hard to... It's always hard to find the records. I wish there's a better, a better way of seeing your, all your past notices. Because I'm pretty sure I got paid out, but... I don't know where it is. Okay, I'm gonna go down to Garnier and oh Jesus. I'm not going to Garnier. I'm getting the hell out of here. Whee! Thank you, friend. Sometimes some Luddick Luddick path just interdicted that hegemony detachment. Probably saved my bacon. Alright. Uh, where is a pirate base? I could go down. I'll go to Umbra. It's got a mil. It's got a military market. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Am I gonna dodge those storms? Hey, I got lucky. Okay, it looks like Umbra is nearest the fringe jump point right now. And we'll just go dark just in case. Hello, friends. It's always nice to have some friendly escorts around. Excellent. Let's see, any officers? Hmm, no officers. Um, you're gonna tell me where a pirate base is? Fine. Oh, I, actually, that's good for me. It's another refueling spot. And I desperately need more crew. More crew to make this work. So, wow, that Dominator just sucks down crew. Yeah, it's okay though. I'm just looking through here to see what kind of whether there are any large ballistics for sale. Actually I don't 
I don't see any. That's a bit of a pity. Maybe I'll hunt the Dictat for a while. Maybe I can get some large ballistics off a of Conquest or something. Not sure I can take down a Conquest right now, of course, but... Okay, this officer leveled up. Good for her. And what is going to be my last skill? Let's say they have armor, they have defense, they have anti-missile and fighter, they have missile, they have combat endurance. This is a really good skill set, actually. I'm going to give them range and accuracy. Yeah, I like this skill set. This is a good, solid set of skills. And she's actually going to be piloting this Dominator. So let's see if I can make this ship any better. Okay. I really wish I had expanded missile racks. I would put expanded missile racks on this ship in a heartbeat. But, as the case may be, it is going to get loaded up with... Do I want annihilators? Do I want harpoons on this ship? Annihilators are kind of the constant stream of death. Harpoons are the opportunistic large explosion. I think in this case, I am going to go with annihilators. Those are pretty, those are good on a dominator. Let's see, what can I put here? I don't have any, I don't, I just don't have enough guns for this ship. So it is going to get outfitted with a mix of smaller weapons. I'm going to put that up front. I am going to... Oh, or I suppose I could turn this into an SO ship. I could turn this into an SO ship and make it my flagship. That would be... Um, that would be a thing. Maybe, that, maybe that'll be a thing. All right, so if I'm going to turn this into my flagship, I am going to have assault chain guns in all four spots. Let's get um, 45, huh? I can do 45. So, 50 overrides. Do I have any dual light machine guns that are handy. No, but I can keep the rail gun. Do I have any sabos handy? No. Eh. Eh. I could put on some light dual auto cannons, but light dual auto cannons are just not very good. It needs more gun. It's going to get some light duels. Okay. Resist flux, flux conduits are going to come off, which is a little bit suicidal, but this whole ship design is somewhat suicidal. Okay, those are going to go into group one. They're going to be linked. Group two, group three, group four, group five. This is fine. It says no forward point defense. I don't care. So let's see. If I'm in charge of this, I don't have great skills. Let's just see how this feels. I'm going to take this up against an eagle. This should be a pretty easy win. Oops, I need to take, toggle that on. Aha, have at you. As always, the ship is going to be heavily outranged because it's an SO ship. Um, there comes some Sabos. I'm going to let that one hit. Maybe I should have the resist flux conduits just to... Um, Avoid ships coming down on me. This is actually not going very well. I mean, okay, here, once I got up close, once I finally got in, I crushed pretty well. I got a lot of DPS. Just a huge amount of DPS. Maybe I just need to fly this more aggressively. Let's try that one more time. Okay, so here is the enemy. You can just see that cloud of missiles. So I definitely, I definitely got in. I definitely got in much better. Wow. 
Well then, that was a pretty satisfying thing. I still don't really like these assault chain guns. Um, I'm actually going to switch them out, or not assault chain guns, dual auto cans. I'm actually going to switch them out for um, light machine guns, and I am going to put back in the resistant flux conduits. Yeah, I hear you, Fuzzatron. Salamanders are just... Ah, uh, getting hit by salamanders is such a pain in the ass. It's why I consider resistant flux conduits and also the engine hull mod, which I don't have yet, the like reinforced engine, are actually quite, quite good. Okay, so here we are. This is going to be my new flagship. This ship is... Ugh, do I want to... I am actually going to stop it from being an SO ship because I'm not I'm not piloting it myself. I wish I had some flax for it, but unfortunately I don't. So I'm going to do this kind of a weird outfit, but hopefully it will prove effective. I am going to give it a pair of arbalists. A heavy machine gun, and a pair of heavy mortars, and ITU, and resistant flux conduits. This is not, um, it's not like the best ship, but it's not terrible. The, um, the heavy mortars and the arbalists are quite flux efficient. Let's just see how this does against, um... Let's do it against Asunder. It's gonna... it's probably gonna, going to lose, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. Enforcers are pretty low-end destroyers. But I want to... I want to see how it performs. So let's see. So the fighters are distracting it. Oh, and it's instantly overloaded by the Sabo because it has a 1.2 shield, which is almost worse than having no shield at all. On the other hand, the fighters are doing their job. Ah, you know what? Screw it. I can make this work, and the way you make this work is you go into your doctrine, and you turn your aggression up to aggression. Aggressive. That should help. That should help a lot of things. Okay, we're going to sell our meta. We're going to buy some crew. We're going to buy some more crew. We don't have quite enough to buy marines yet. Oh, no, they're, they're excess. Screw it. We're going to buy 200 marines. We're going to start raiding. This should be a grand old shit show. Okay. Well, there we have it. A interesting fleet. This should be fun. I'll see what I can do. I might switch back and forth between piloting these two ships, depending on whether or not I need a Dominator. Okay. There's my save. I spend so much time refitting ships, it's not even funny. Now, I am in Esconia. I am hostile with a Dictat. I don't get any special bonus, but I want to see if I can snag some fuel tankers or something from them. Or maybe I could try to, um... Ah, oh, god, it's a military world. This area is really well defended. You know what? Ugh. Can I get anywhere? I'm really low on fuel. I'll just see what I can do. I'll get into some fights, I'll have some fun. Okay, we got a patrol here. That is a tasty looking patrol, because I love falcons. Let's see if I can grab one of those falcons. Okay, um, am I going to take my Dominator into this fight? 
you know, I don't need to, but it might be wise. Ah, sure, I'll, I'll take it into the fight just to see how it feels. It's a lot of supplies. It's a lot of supplies. Okay, hold on. Which one are you? You're the one with the defective manufacturing. I don't want you. Alright, this is probably overkill, but this should be fun. I'm going to set up a quick defend order, at least at the start, just because I want to keep my ships together until I get a good idea of the enemy's deployment. Oh no, you disabled your own Hyperion by running into wreckage. Hyperions are so fragile. Okay, that is a lot of freaking salamanders. Alright, I want a fighter strike on the Sunder. Oh, Jesus, the Sunder is just... Yeah, alright. However, the Sunder is not going to be able to take... Out of my way! That was very silly. Very silly! Gotta go fast, gotta go fast, gotta go fast! <laughs> oh, this is going terribly. I mean, I haven't actually taken much damage, so it's not going terribly in that respect, but I just want to get in range of this Sunder. That is all I want in life. There we go. I'm in range. No way I can get away. And it just evaporates. So that's what happens when this ship finally gets in range. Oh no, I lost a wolf. Well, that's that's not great. Okay, let's go over here. This ship has kindly gotten it in my sights, and I am actually going to start using my missiles a bit. And you know what? There we go. Nice har nice uh nice there. The salamanders are keeping this flamed out. Um I might retreat my hound. I'm gonna retreat my hound. It's done its job. And Yeah, I don't you know, they've got this down here, I don't need to interfere, and I don't want to leave my carriers unprotected against this, this falcon, so I'm just gonna just kinda kinda be Oh look at those look at those harpoons. That's just glorious. Those harpoons are chasing the lasher. Whoa, speaking of harpoons, my falcon just got absolutely decimated by something. Hello, Reaper. You missed me. There we go. Those four assault chain guns really are excellent. Oh, wow. That took a lot of... God, that took a huge hit. A huge hit. Okay, it's time to, it's time to end this fight. You know, this brawler has been extremely reliable. I've been watching this brawler in these fights. It's just doing its job. It's kiting ships, it's peppering them, it's firing off its sabos. Alright, I'm gonna unleash my unleash my missiles here. I need to be very careful about that. That silly little ship there. Oh my god, I wasn't paying attention. Ugh, I'm a shit pilot. I will say it every day of the week. That brawler though! Look at that brawler! That brawler just got the overload! And with the overload, then the missiles come in for the kill. Very clean. 
very cleanly done. Ships that are not piloted by me. Yeah, I agree, Fuzzatron. Centurions are also really good. Haha, <laughs> I'm gonna spray off these useless missiles. Okay, and the fighters are gonna clean up and get the kill. Yep, just watch that hole go down. Cool. Well, that was a messy fight. Like, you look at fights and you go, did that go well, did that not go well? That did not go particularly well. I only lost a pair of frigates. And I'm getting my wolf back with no damage. Uh, degraded engines, degraded engines, buckled environmental shielding. Sure. I'm actually not sure if I can support... I'm not sure if I have enough money to support all three of these. Um... Because I'm going to need to buy crew for these. You know what? I'm actually going to not... I'm going to not recover the Dominator. Because I'm, I'm flying one right now and I just don't have the weapons for it. But I got two Falcons. Two Falcons is quite good. Okay, I actually have my four points as well for getting my combat skills. All right, let's get these up top, and I'm going to need to outfit them again, and I'm going to need to get new crew. Do I want this under? Nah. Okay. And are you really going to come after me? I mean, I will take the free eagle. Let me see what I can slap onto these. Uh, you get that. And uh Phase Lance. I really like I really like Phase Lances on, on Falcons. Oh no, I don't want don't want that. Because I uh, I'm about to get to combat, so I don't want it CR to go down. So it's gonna get this weird hodgepodge. And let's see, missiles. Sure, we're gonna just keep on salamandering away, I guess. There we go. That's a, that is a serviceable, if weird, loadout. How about the other one? Oh, it's got HPDs. HPDs are solid. Apparently it's got a burst on it. That's good. Um... I'll give it a face lance and sure. We'll just give it this weird mixed armament as well. Salamanders, ITU. What does this buckled environmental shielding do? Damage taken from environmental or terrain effects and EMP increased by 25%. Okay, well I'm gonna give it re resistant flux conduits to try to combat that. And it is a little over OP'd at the moment. So we're actually gonna take off the we're gonna take off the pulse laser and just leave that empty for now. This will get another refit later. Okay. You're coming to me? Sure. Let's see, level six officer, level six officer. Okay, this is not a terribly strong fleet. I hope that I can kill it cleanly. I'm gonna use my enforcer this time. And we will use this my officered falcon. We will use my strike carrier and my support carriers and my two support frigates. This is a reasonable Yeah, this is a reasonable deployment against this fleet. Back in my familiar little bowling ball. Okay. Fighter strike on the Sunder. Because it doesn't do well against Sunders. Wow, look at the armament on that, though. Two heavy blasters and an auto pulse. It can't sustain that flux. But boy, if that catches me with my 
if that catches me with my shields down for some reason, or because I'm a terrible, terrible pilot, it will really screw me up. So I need to be really careful about that ship. Um, yeah, that's just that's just the way it is. The brawler over there is happily, happily killing. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna dip dispatch my fighters to help over there. Uh, no, they all got killed. There we go. Well, that was nice and clean. Now I'm going to retreat. Ooh, I took a bunch of damage. 200 armor damage. Uh, let's see, you took some damage. You're fine. You're okay right now. Actually, you get out of here. You lost all your armor. It looks like it lost a duel with Centurion. My own brawler is just doing great. Um, I'm actually gonna slap an avoid over on that eagle for right now. Well, let me let me take a look. Yeah, I don't want the falcon tangling with its solo. Once I finish off this. Once I finish off this Sunder, I'll go back, and I'll remove that Avoid Order. <laughs> okay, so there goes, there, there's the Fighter Strike inbound. Okay, he's kind of fluxed out at the moment. And my fighters are going to keep him fluxed out. There goes the Broadswords, too distracted to fire his main guns at me. There are those harpoons, there's the kill. So I actually did very little there other than be a distraction. Now I can get rid of that avoid order, and I'm actually going to put a general engage on the eagle and burn in myself. This fight's going pretty clean. Not, not crazy good, but um, I don't, I think this is going pretty well. Oof, rough. All right, I'm gonna. This is worthy of some reapers. I missed one of them, and then the, I took the other one on the shield. Well, fine. Screw you. That one's gonna hit. And I left my shields up too long. Ah, the joys of being a bad pilot. Also, the joys of salamanders from my allied falcon, though. All right, you ignore that little frigate. Come in, come in and help me more. Okay, there we go. The swarm of fighters managed to beat it, even though I can't pilot at all. I'm very happy with the drover. I'm, I've always been saying that I like fighters on drovers to increase the wing size, but I suspect that reserve deployment is responsible for those bombers just coming over and over and over again. Okay, so I actually took no losses. I took some damage on my wolf, but um, no losses. Oh, very nice. I can get this eagle. Increased maintenance is not a problem because I have demod reduction skills. That's a great, that's a great, yeah. Okay, impaired life support systems reduce the maximum crew. But other than that, this is a pristine enforcer. And no thanks. No thanks. So my fleet continues to grow excessively large, and I'm starting to feel the lack of officers really keenly. I really need more officers. Okay, what do you have on you right now? You have not much on you right now. <laughs> so let's slap some ballistics on here. This is just a crazy slapdash uh, loadout, but you know what? If it stops this ship from getting... If I get ambushed by something huge, it'll at least let the ship fight a little bit. Okay. 
oh, I love these terrible outfits, the, these terrible loadouts that I'm doing on these recovered ships. They're really funny. Okay, and I have no crew and a level. What's my level going to be? It's going to be operating time, because I'm running SO ships at the moment. Let's see, I have 200 supplies. It's going to take me 124 to repair. That's good. I'm still running positive. Okay, a Sunder. Nice, nice. I'm going to head back to Umbra for more crew. I feel like this is my, like... My chant of the stream, more crew, more crew. It is incredible how fast this fleet is growing, though. And yes, these ships have demods, but they don't. It's not that bad, demods. I so I now have five cruisers. I really can start taking on bigger fleets. Okay, no officers though. Oh hey, here's the um, here's the quest. Nice. Cool. So for those of you who've never seen the quest before, sorry I went through it so fast, but I've done that quest so many times. All right. Let's go selling our ill-gotten goods on the black market. Yeah, sure, I'll sell off the auto pulses. You can tell that I'm actually doing relatively poorly in terms of credits. Um, I haven't done anything for income other than fighting, and I'm playing with Ruthless Sector, so I don't get any faction payoff to speak of. Yeah, not not much smuggling opportunities. I mean, I guess I could make some pro profit here, but I don't I don't like I don't like smuggling. Just I don't like it very much. It's boring. I'm gonna fight. Fight. Let's see. I definitely need money. So I'm gonna collect the ransom on both those prisoners. And that makes things a little more comfortable. That is still not enough crew to bring me up to um, operational. I don't want that much crew, though. Oh, okay. Wow, that took a lot of my uh, a lot of my capabilities. Okay, now what am I going to do with this with this eagle? This is just not a great not a great set of available weapons. I can at least get some better point defense on it. Slightly. At least get another LR there. I can make it a tricksy one by putting on an ion cannon. So it'll have some ion. This is a very weird loadout. Let's see, my desire for symmetry. I'm going to put two heavy mortars on. Um, I don't like having rear... I really don't like having rear ones empty, but I just don't have any more energy PD. Okay, let's see how this... Let's see how this loadout does. Or should I do something crazy? I think I'm going to do something that I had said I was going to do earlier in the playthrough, and I've been kind of lax at actually doing. Um, I'm going to be putting Converted Hangar and Talons on all my ships. It's one of those things that it's a little, it's a little weird, but it gets the job done. Okay, not this ship because this ship has an officer and not a carrier officer. I want to I want to keep my officers magnified as much as possible. But on something like this, um, let's see. That's gonna be heavy mortar. Can I just get make this a regular PD? Let's see. Those will both be LRs. We're going to throw on... There's that converted hangar. Here is... There's a Talon. Oops. And do I want anything in these slots? 
Do I want some forward, some forward point defense? Yes, yes, I, I do want some. I do want some forward point defense. I'm just gonna throw on an LR and call it a day. It's gonna be a weird ship, weird undergun ship. That's what we're doing. Let's see. This is a long-range support ship. It's got that buckled environmental shielding, so I really do want resistant flux conduits. I want the. Um, the burst PD on the back, please. That'll help against salamanders. This is an okay offensive loadout. And we'll just play fast and loose here. It would be more OP, efficient, to do this with destroyers, but I don't have destroyers. I have falcons. Hello, Jukatron. How you doing? Sorry I just saw your note. My setup's in a bit of a weird state right now. I am throwing together crazy weird pirate ships. Oh, so here's here's my enforcer I just got. Um, so we can we can get rid of those that business. Impaired life support systems is fun um, because it means this ship can't support anywhere near enough people. Um, they're basically they're they're strapped to the they're strapped to the hole. That's what's going on. Okay, now I'm not going to set this up as an SO ship, which means it really could use the HVDs that I currently have on this Falcon. I think I'm actually going to do that. So you're going to lose your HVDs. You're going to get uh, two arbalists. And that actually gives you ten OP there. Which I'm actually going to put a pair of tactical lasers and a couple vents. This is a weird ship. That's fine. I'm building a whole bunch of weird, not very effectual ships. On the other hand, my weapon flux ratio is actually pretty good. Okay, so you are going to get a pair of HVDs. So this is going to be a bombardment ship. There's the ITU, there's the converted hangar. Um, it's going to get, yeah, it's going to get four harpoons. So my OP is starting to run a little low. And it is going to get three Vulcans. Because I don't have any flak. If I had some flak, it would get some flak. So here we go. This is my little bombardment mini ship. <laughs> So Last Hamster says, these, crew these cruiser loadouts have so much chaotic energy. Yes, these are not ideal cruiser loadouts. This one's, this one's actually pretty good. This is not, not terrible. It's a little, little low on kinetic, but like, what is this? What is this business here? Okay, now I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna run this simulation against the default, um, default hammerhead. And I want to see how this does, because enforcers kind of suck in general. But a pair of HVDs is decent, and it's got fighters, and it's got missiles. We'll see how this does. The question is, is it capable of holding the hammerhead off for long enough? Oh, hey, it's actually doing okay. I don't think those missiles are going to hit. Oh, one of the missiles did hit. You know, the combination of fighter distraction and long range actually worked pretty well there. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna throw in a burn drive, put autopilot back on, and just see how this does. So it's it's basically out of fighters. There goes the missiles. It's a little low on firepower. I mean, enforcers are low on firepower because their flux dissipation is bad, but between the missiles and the fighters, it is mauling this enemy ship pretty good. You know, in terms of a fire support vessel, I am perfectly happy with an enforcer that can do that. Sure. We are making do. That's what we do as a pirate, make do. 
Okay, now I am in the unenviable situation of having not many supplies in a big fleet. So I am going to sell off, <laughs> um, I don't know, something here, there. I sold off a few a few guns. Might not be the best decision, but um, I'm gonna spend spend that to get some supplies. All right. Now I'm in a kind of a weird state. I really need cash, and the bounties that are available are actually pirates. But they're all way out at the edge of the sector. Next time I play Varus Sector, I might play with reduced sector size just so that I can actually reach a bounty. Like in a normal playthrough, sectors are usually in or bounties are usually in this inner ring of systems. I have not seen a bounty that is not just way too far away. Okay. I'm not interested in exploration. Okay, there's this Tritachian bounty, which is what I really think I want to do. So I am going to pop over to um, Valhalla and... Yeah. I'm going to go to Valhalla and Ragnar. And I now have the capability to probably crush any fleet there. Um, I actually don't want to fight that right now. No, why would I not fight that? Of course I want to fight that. What's wrong with me? Okay, so that was a fairly sizable fleet. I am gonna deploy my falcons. I want that eagle too? Eagle's a lot of supplies, but you know what? Screw it. And we'll just give bomber support and more talents. One frigate. This is probably way overkill. All right, I have 10% ECCM rating. Let's grab some speed boost. I mean, it's right there. I out ECM by 20%, so it doesn't matter to me if the enemy grabs the sensor buoys at all. So I'm not going to bother grabbing them. So there they are. They're up there. I am going to grab the comm relay, because I like giving orders. Aha! Out of my way! Oh, that ship has no point defense, does it? Okay, so there is the bulk of the enemy fleet. Maybe I should have deployed more carriers, since they have so many carriers. Well, say la vie. All right, we're going to get a fire strike on the afflictor. And there, we're going to clean that up. Ew, brawler flamed out. I kind of want to protect it a little bit. However, this carrier just came within very easy striking range. Maybe not so easy. Look at all those fighters. Okay, however, my assault chain guns are going to tear those fighters up pretty well. Yeah, I'm just going to tank those... I'm just going to tank those Reapers, and I'm going to try to get kills on these daggers. Okay, there's the overload of my Falcon, but I think it's going to get away unscathed. Um, I don't really like this. I'm actually going to deploy... Uh, my frigates are going to get eaten alive by th the fighters. Okay, I'm just going to deploy one more carrier that'll hopefully just help a little bit. Okay. I want to get a quick kill here, so I'm actually using my missiles. There we go, that removes a threat. It wasn't the biggest threat, but that removes a threat from the board. Okay, how is this going? 
This is actually going pretty well. Uh, I might want to... Okay, that's retreating, so I don't care. I want to fighter strike on this, so it will hopefully stop pushing my falcon back. And eagle, get in there. All right, there we go. Now I am going to... Ooh, there's an omen there. I wonder if I can recover that omen. That would be nice. All right, I'm going to get back to the center of my formation. And I'm going to see if I can get in. Ah, uh, stupid frigates. I'm just going to take these things out so that they don't um, hound me to death. Oh no, I got slightly out of range. Ah, that was such a waste. Okay, well, it's going to retreat anyway, and I am much more interested in killing that carrier. So I'm going to go up and kill that carrier. Okay, my ships are doing well. The griffin got disabled. Good, 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 good. I'm just going to let them fight around this point. That's fine. Oh, they just got retasked. i got to be a little careful. All right, I'm glad I put flux resistant conduits on this thing because I just took a lot of a lot of ion to the engines. Oh, that's an afflictor behind me. Oh, that was a good dodge. Okay. I actually had situational awareness awareness for once in my life. All right, missiles out. There's the quick kill. All right, it took me a long time to get into position, but now I'm free to burn drive on that vector. You know, this fighter fleet is actually a lot less scary than I anticipated. I wonder if it's the fact that my own fighters, even though they're just talons, are just keeping the enemy busy. Uh, brawler's in trouble. Get out of there. Oh god, is that about to EMP me? Almost EMP'd me. Luckily I got out in time. Alright, I don't think... Ew, gross. Gross, ew. Let's swap. You have long range guns, so you can ward off those frigates. I am going to get right into the fray here and overshoot a little bit. That's a pity. You know, I kind of like the Enforcer better. It's, it, it's not as much firepower, but it's just a lot more maneuverable. And let's be, let's be honest here, a hammerhead would be cleaning up in this circumstance. I think I can actually... Okay, there aren't too many frigates around, so that'll be fine. Alright, I think I've got this got this fight pretty well in hand, if we're being honest. Um, the enemy missile cruisers are dead. The carriers are falling one by one. Um, their phase frigates are running out of CR. Uh, yeah. This is, this is over. Uh, let's just toggle on the full assault. I'm just gonna let my. I'm just gonna watch my ships fight a little bit. Oh hey, you got EMP'd. You got really EMP'd. But you have uh, okay. But it, reinforcements are coming. Let's see. Here's one of these derpy, derpy falcons. But you know what? It's winning against the heron. I have no idea what fighters were on that heron. But this falcon has taken basically zero damage so far. Oh, spoke too soon. <laughs> Atropos to the face. There goes Salamander. Oh, there goes some fire support from over there. Cool. I think the brawler actually got the kill. Good for the good for the brawler. Yeah, last hamster. I I did jinx it. I absolutely jinxed it. All right, let's just get a get a nice pursue there. And what are we gonna get? I'm mean, gonna I pick up another drover. There's nothing wrong with drovers. Um, I don't think I want to degrade engine Tarsus. I'm getting a little picky 
in terms of my ship because I'm low on funds but high on um, high on combat power to be honest. Okay. I will take this I'll take this drover. Drovers are always good. And I got quite a bit of money from that. I got 16.8k. I got some food that I'm going to sell off. That was good. That was a good fight. Now let's see. What do I want for skills? I definitely want evasive action. That'll help a lot. And I am going to want these skills eventually, but not right now. Hmm. Okay, I'm actually going to save this point for right now. I have nothing that I want as a burning desire. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to... I'm just going to deliver this food to Umbra. I don't know if they need food or not, but... Oh, hey! That's a bigger bounty. But I can at least, um... Wow, yeah, 800,000. Whenever and wherever I show my extremely valuable head. Well, you know what? I've got a big multi-cruiser fleet at this point. Yeah, they're kind of janky, but I can take a lot of ships with this fleet. And I probably just jinxed, jinxed it again, huh? Okay. Let's see. I have a little bit more food to sell off. That's nice. Last response back. I actually have some guns for once. Let's see, I won't be using those. I still don't have any large ballistics. Large ballistics is what I want for my dominators. And as always, the search for more crew continues. Ooh, right, I, had, I have a new drover. New drover to outfit. I think I might, um, I think I might give it a very similar loadout to my other one. I've been very happy with the performance of that other ship. However, I don't have any other bombers. Am I really going to put a trident on this? Uh, I suppose I could go with a classic. I could go with a classic broadsword. Yeah, I'll go with a classic broadsword dagger. That sounds good. And the broadswords will get their numbers boosted. Here are my harpoons. Here is a railgun. I have seven railguns. I should do something with those seven railguns. Um, yeah. There we go. It's a nice drover. Now, do I have anything that will take railguns? You might take railguns. Yeah, no. I just don't have the OP right now. Because I want to keep my rear Vulcans for defense. I want to keep my flux-resistant conduits. I want to keep my missiles. I want to keep my assault chain guns. Well, it'll do. It'll do. Maybe what I can do is I can switch to two rail guns. That's more like it. Two rail guns and one... Do I have any DLMGs? I do have a DLMG. There we go. This is a loadout I like. You might be wondering what this is for. It's for brawling and also just to shoot down like pylons. But, I, you know, just a very small amount of frontal point defense. Okay, and the weapon groups are okay. Weapon groups are okay. Okay, so here is my fleet. It is looking very much like a big-ass pirate fleet. I now have a heavy cruiser, a medium cruiser, three light cruisers, a um, couple of kind of janky combat destroyers, one of which is my part-time flagship. I've got actually a pretty decent carrier force at this point. I've got a small frigate force, which is the way I like it, because frigates in general suck, although this brawler has been doing really well. I'm actually really, really pleased with brawlers. 
and I got a pair of cargo ships, which are becoming increasingly superfluous. And no officers. Okay, I am still chasing this money, and I have a massive bounty on my head, and I have a big fleet. So you know what? I am going to do two stops. First, I'm just going to pop into Duzak to see if there are habitable worlds. You never know. I didn't do anything special. Like, I didn't I didn't look up any good seeds, and also I don't... This is kind of a weird mod list. Um, but every once in a while you get lucky and you get a super... A super Duzak, which is a real doozy. <laughs> See what I did there? Uh, only two planets. Not a great sign. Oh god, I'm in a corona. Um... Uh, yeah, just a pair of barons. Okay, nothing... Nothing worth it here. Oh well. At least I checked. Oh, there's some ruins here. But I don't think... No, I don't want to... I don't want to survey. Also, I have done zero exploration so far this game. And I kind of want to keep it that way. I kind of want to start raiding to earn my blueprints. So maybe I should find a small hegemony military market. I'm going to go to Citadel Arcadia. I'm going to try to raid Citadel Arcadia. This is just kind of a, a habit thing. All right, it's way out there. I really think I can probably... Um, probably kill most fleets at this point. Oh yeah, there's nothing. There's n there's nothing here that'll threaten me. That's good. I don't I don't care. They can leave. Okay, so first of all, any officers? Eh? Eh? Darn. Now this is a orbital station. I can probably take an orbital station. Um, let me just see colony info. You know the defense is only 270. I think after I blow, yeah, after I blow the station, I should be able to get a good kill on this. Now, um, stations can be really rough on lighter ships like enforcers. I'm actually going to leave my support enforcer off, but I really want my strike carriers, and I'll take my talons. But this cruiser lineup should be good. I'm actually like, I think the the annihilator pods on my flagship should be very powerful as well. Wait a minute, I just deployed five freaking cruisers against an orbital station. Oh, this is so overkill. Let's see. Buzzatron says, in late game, I still have a few Tempests for pursuits. I hit it when any of them get away. And an omen that's all PC in that's all PD. In big battles, I make him escort me or the Paragon. I'll stop using it when it dies, but it's pretty great. Yeah, actually, I really love omens. I do love omens. And I um Tempests Tempests do pretty well just because they're so fast. It's more things like lashers. I mean lashers just aren't gonna do crap in an endgame battle. Okay, so I got a lot of missiles coming in. It's forcing me to keep my shields up, which is annoying. Um, maybe I do need more frontal PD than this. However, now I'm in range. I'm firing. There goes this module soon, I hope. Uh, I'm going to try to get a fighter strike going there. I'm not sure why. I'll actually... Full strike, full assault, and then fighter. I really need, I really want my allies to be engaging here. I'm taking a lot more damage than I want to be. But, I'm doing fine. Oh, something just fucked me up. I am not doing fine. I'm not doing fine. Okay. You know what, you, you. That was really bad. All three of you, just get in here and save my ass. 
Oh, jeez. Okay, there go some Sabos. There's an Overload. Um, I'm... Alright. Well, I almost sacrificed my Dominator, because I'm a dum-dum. Drover might die, which is also really bad. Yeah, there goes the Drover. Oh, jeez. Yeah, sometimes fights go smoothly. Sometimes fights do not go smoothly. Alright, here I am. I still got my Annihilator pods. Is there a lot of DPS? There should be some more uh, bomber strikes coming in soon, though, right? Alright, station's down, and with it, their annoying missile spam. Um, Alright. Alright, there we go. That was not great, but you know what? Easy come, easy go. Shields for just a little bit. Oh boy. I did I actually did not go well. That ship legitimately fought me off. Alright, my my cruisers are, however, going to be able to mop up the enemy pretty handily. Um I want both of you to come over here. There we go. Oh, that, well, I salute you, brave enforcer, I mean, brave lasher, but that was absolute suicide for you to do that. Maybe not. Actually survived. That's kind of embarrassing. All right. There we go. Oh, yuck. I'm going to take both those Sabos. Yeah, there we go. Getting... I, you know, I think I want, as soon as I can get my hands on some damn large ballistics, I want to make this a non-SO Dominator. It's just not working that well. It's just not working. I mean, part of that is, a large part of that is my piloting. But the other thing is that to be an SO ship, you need to be able to close with the enemy quickly and bridge the range. And this ship just can't do that. Also, I'll note that I have 226 hull left. That is embarrassing. Alright, Lasher. You can get away. You are brave and powerful. And I get nothing. I get nothing. That's actually very unlikely that I get nothing. Huh. Okay. That was disastrous. Okay. Got a big insurance payout, though. That's the funny thing, is that the insurance payout is, is huge. That's more than the, that... I, I lost a single drover? Huh. Okay, so I want to... launch a raid. And I want to try to acquire blueprints. Now, my raid effectiveness is 53%. Um, I really should have bought more marines before I did this, but... Actually, I'm actually going to leave for just a tiny bit. And the reason I'm going to leave is because... Ah, I'm surprised the stability didn't go down. Okay, well... Launch a raid. Try to acquire blueprints. Launch a raid. 39 marines. Not great. Uh, I got the surveying equipment on spec. That's not, that's not terrible. Well, I got a little bit of stuff. Um, somewhat disappointing. Okay, well, I think it is time for me to go. Humorously, losing the Drover gave me a lot of money, so I'm actually in pretty good shape now. I'm surprised the Dominator survived that too. I did not fly it very well. 
I really just want to make it into a standard long range dominator at this point. Um, the SO on it is just not working very well. Maybe it's just a bad build and I don't really know how to build SO dominators. Okay, I want to start getting some uh, leadership skills because I have a lot of fighters in my fleet and I take a lot of crew losses and um, logistics is just great. Actually, gonna take I'm gonna take the first level of coordinated maneuvers before I take logistics though. This is a very unfocused build. Oh, there's a debris field there. Sometimes recoverable ships are in the debris field. Nope, not this time. But still, 35 supplies is is good. All right, and one more time. Very nice. Now I am going to, um, probably won't let me dock here since I've been seen, but maybe I can go to Nomios. I uh, might as well, might as well hack this nav buoy. That'll just speed me up a little bit. All right, let me go to Nomios. Uh, no officers still. I'm just having a hell of a time having officers. However, expanded missile rack. Uh, yeah. I suppose I could sell them at Scathy. Um, actually, Scathy is, has deficited a lot of things. Maybe I should be running some drugs to Scathy. Sure. Actually. They want 200 organs? Sure, I'll run 200 order organs to Scathy. Now let's see, I do have a Hellbore now. I am gonna refit this Dominator. I'm just kinda tired with it. Kinda tired having it be a, an SO ship. Let's see, I could turn it into a Gauss Cannon Sniper, but I think I'm going to do Hellbore and Heavy Auto Cannon. Two. Oh, let's see, one Dual Flak, one HVD. This is a very weird setup, but you know what? I'm going to channel my Inner Chaos Demon. This side is going to get a pair of railguns. This side is going to get a Vulcan swarm. This one's going to be empty. How, how do you all like this very weird ship? And it is, however, going to keep its annihilators. And it's going to get a ITU going to get a converted hangar with, you guessed it, talents. It is going to max out its vents and get some caps. So here is my weird ass loadout. Maybe I will replace this HVD with another, um, with another flat cannon. But I kind of like the range. Sure. Let's see how this monstrosity does against my target eagle. The eagles are actually pretty good against dominators because the gravitons do an annoying lockdown and the AI is not very good at shield flickering. But let's see how this bizarre loadout does. I mean, it's pushing it back. It's got good range. This is just silly. I mean, it is, it is handily winning, though. So, you know, I shouldn't... I suppose I shouldn't throw too much shade on it. One of the Talons just shot down a... Oh, there's the Hellbore hit. 
one of the talents just shot down a um, Sabo, which is really actually very valuable. Okay, an aggressive vent from the AI. I wasn't really expecting that, but hey, why not? So it's a good. It's, a, it's actually a very good vent. Ooh, bad Sabo hit there. Let's see how is the, how is it doing otherwise? I mean, it's 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 fluxing out the eagle. Its fighters are pecking away and distracting it. The Hellbore shots have broken the armor, although they usually are missing. Um, yeah, this is good. This is a good good heavy cruiser. It's taken basically zero damage from this whole affair. All right. Now it doesn't have resistant flux conduit because I'm a little low on OP, but. Um, yes, actually, I do want resistant flux conduit, so I'm going to take off one railgun to give it that. And there we go. This is going to be my ship. This is my ship. It's a good ship. And you'll get to see me fly something non-SO, and maybe I won't screw it up quite so much. Okay, so I might as well. Okay, these are these are for sale. I my my desi my destination is actually Scathy, and I hope I can uh, sneak in there. And it's offering me really quite quite good um, margins on all of this. So I'm just gonna kind of load up. Um, hell, I'll be a hero and bring food. Why not? Got a really good margin. Okay, you know what? That's good enough. Um, and I always need crew. I also need some marines. So these are offering me almost two to one. Okay, I'm a little low on funds though, so this will be my my weird ass smuggling run to Scathy. Um, sure, that is fun. Flee! Flee, hegemony! I think the next time I have a large amount of money, I am... Ooh! rut -row. Can I take that fleet? I mean, maybe. I might be able to take that fleet. It's a lot of fighters, though. You know what? Let's try it. You know, I might lose, but I just saved. Ooh, except the Commerce Crest. <coughs> ah, there you are, the Bounty Hunter says, leaning forward in his command chair. The Persian League aren't very happy with you, you know. They've offered quite the reward for your pretty little head. Aw, they think my head is pretty. I hope you've made good use of whatever you took from them. He flashes you a predatory grin, because we're not letting you go. <laughs> okay, um, they have a lot of fighters, but I've got a lot of fighters too. Theirs are better than mine. Okay, I'm not going to deploy my frigates yet. They're going to die immediately to the initial fighter wave. I might deploy them once I'm, like, ready. Alright, let's get a capture there. I did deploy my my bowling ball. We'll see how that does. Um, good. They don't have any ECM, so I'm gonna have 10% um, range on them, just no matter what. They can they can take that sensor, and it's not gonna do anything. Okay. There's some enemies. You just see my fleet being like, ooh, an enemy! Let's kill it! Of 
quite a few of the enemy frigates are over there. I haven't... Okay, uh, uh, fighters inbound, so their carriers are north. Some bloody falcons. Oops! Get out of my way! Really? Well, I will approach the enemy at faster than usual speed, butt first into a lot of bombers. Oh, I, I get to go butt first into a conquest! Oh my god. That was disastrous. Okay, we're going to get an eliminate order on, and I am going to order all the young, both those cruisers, get rid of that. Um, and I want my carriers to also get that eliminate. We're just going to try to pop their... Um, oh god, I just took some more Atropos. Oh, and you can tell that I'm absolutely chugging in terms of frames. So I just got absolutely wasted by ramming my own ship. It completely ruined me, and it, I got multiple Reapers because I rammed my own ship. Phew, and there's the overload. You know what? I'm going to do that one more time. And I know that's cheating. But when you... Oh, my difficulty rating for the next battle is reduced by 20% due to reloading. Well, whatever. When you get that unlucky a start, I am okay with reloading a save. I mean, that's basically my, my most powerful ship getting destroyed by um, an unlucky ram. Ooh, everyone's, everyone's giving me those faces. Those... They don't believe me faces. Okay. <laughs> Just to repeat the circumstances of the myth. I've been watching a lot of Mythbusters recently. As weird as that might be. I know it's an old show. Okay, they should be safe from the initial fighter wave now. What the fuck? So, the auto fire fired at a fighter with a hell bore and hit the back of my falcon in the engines, completely stripping the armor. That was not that was not good, AI. That was not good at all. And there goes the falcon. I really am getting a little bit annoyed at these AI. I normally defend the AI, but damn. You know what? This is a completely unwinnable fight. This this yeah, this dominator is cursed. Just completely cursed. Okay, I'm going to give this fight one more try and I am going to studiously avoid being behind what my falcons. Like, you know what? You're just I'm you're not going to be behind me. I'm even going to assign myself an escort, and if it so much as looks like a falcon is it in front of me, I'm just going to turn all my weapons off. Hold down the C key for a complete stop. <laughs> so how's everyone's day been so far? Tuesday. Quarantine Tuesday. No, no, can't point at a falcon. I have to point away from the falcon at all times. Oof, you can tell my computer just does not like fighters. 
my rig is not all that advanced. Okay, the initial wave of enemy fighters looks like it hasn't caused any casualties among my ships, although this might be close. Alright, finally, I'm in a good position. I'm a little, a little far away. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get that kill. I'm actually going to back off just a little bit. Okay, so. Let's see if I can get my bowling ball to flank on the side. Maybe I should be flying it, to be perfectly honest, and try to take out their carriers with myself. But I'll see what I can do here. I'm just going to try to duel this... Um, duel this conquest with a little help from this falcon. Okay, quick vent to get the flux back. I mean, I kind of got a battle... I have a battle line of ships. Maybe I can wear down these fighters. Just keep getting kills, wear them down, and let my battle line advance. Oh, jeez. You just... You, you're not going to do it, are you? Well, actually, it might be flamed out from these fal from these thunders, but okay. That was potentially not worth an order, but oh well. Let's see, fighters inbound, so I need to be a bit conservative. Ooh, I think I kill. I got. Good number of kills on them. Hopefully that'll lower their replacement rate. Um, another set of fighters inbound. I think, yes, I weathered the strike without overloading. Guns off for a second. No reapers inbound. Good, good, good. I can vent. My falcons are flanking me nicely. Okay, this time the fight is going much better. Oh, no, I spoke too soon. Took four Atropos to the side. I swear that dual flak just isn't doing anything. All right, I'm not sure why this conquest has turned around. Oh, it's because my enforcer is doing what I told it to. Nice, thank you, enforcer. Okay, now I want um, a fighter strike on the conquest. I think we can manage it. Now I am going to lay down missile fire. Oh, there's my Hellbore, got a hit. And I need to back off again because of another Atropos Dagger Strike. Alright, quick vent, because I don't think there's any missiles inbound. Oh, this, ham this thing is getting um, just wrecked. Just wrecked. It did its job, though. Okay, let's see. Yeah, there goes the Enforcer. That is unfortunate. Enforcenate? Oh, another, another Atropos strike coming in here. Oh, my computer is just slow to crawl. Oh, balls. I overloaded. That That's probably it. Oh, hey, Lasher. You're being very brave. Thank you for your sacrifice, Lasher. Yeah, my fleet just... It can't do anything to this fighter swarm. Hi, Beef. How you doing? Also, hi, Xanthalus. How you doing? Oy. Yeah, I'm... This is a really hard fight. I don't... Maybe I could try it one more time and pilot the bowling ball myself. That might give me what I need here. Right, there we go. 
couple of fast vents. God, there's just unending fighters. Uh, my ships are all cobbled together from really weird pirate loadouts. Alright, I survived that fighter strike. Oh god, there goes the Falcon. It just got deleted by the Conquest. Yeah, this fight is not not winnable with my current fleet. Jeez. Yeah, it doesn't happen that it doesn't help that I have one officer in my fleet because every single port that I have checked has had zero officers. So my fleet is running at about I don't know a third of the combat power that it should for having five heavy cruisers. Because every officer multiplies the effectiveness of a ship by three or four times. Well, that is it. I cannot take this fleet. Now, I mean, if I had a proper combat... So, so multi-dimensional Fox has plus them against a capital ship, which means you're you're losing the CR fight. That is absolutely true. You can't, can't out-CR a capital with my fleet. Um... If I had a proper combat loadout with a proper outfitted Dominator, I would feel very good about dueling that ship. But I don't have either of those things. Oops. Oh, hey. It has... Um... All right, we're going to try this one more time because I got uh, not very proactive with my emergency burn. Okay, we're going to do an assault around the comm relay. I hope you all watch me, like, you know, enjoy watching me get my ass handed to me. Because that's, a, it's, I think, what's going to happen. I thought I could take this fight originally. Maybe I should take a look at the level of the officers. Just to see what I'm up against. Because, like, a level 4 or 5 officer, that's not too bad. That's maybe a 25-30% improvement of a ship. But like a level 15, 16 officer is like two or three times imp increase in power of a ship. Okay. All right, I actually want to slow down just a little bit. I need the distraction from my other ships around me to give me a chance to kill the carriers. So this is my new strategy is I'm going to try to bowling bowl around the side and kill the carriers. It's not going to work, but, you know, it's fun to think about. Yeah, not on what, <laughs> as Zentless says, I'm outnumbered, outsized, outcarriered, outofficered, and I don't have, um, whatchamacallit, like, I, I don't have good loadouts on these ships. Oh, what did I just get hit with? I didn't think I was under ion fire. But here I am, overloaded. Like, I, I don't... I have no idea what happened, but I lost my engines. And that's it. Like, I have... I have actually... I have no idea... how I lost my engines in that fight. Okay. Hey! The special task group, 16th Racelvig, is killing my bounty hunters. <laughs> yes. Yes, this is uh this is my master plan. My master plan was to lure two uh two different bounty hunter fleets together. Yep, look how uh look how smart I am. Yep. That's totally what happened. Doo -doo -doo. Well, I have learned a valuable lesson in bragging to you all saying, "Oh, my my fleet can my ships can take a big fleet." No, they really can't. Well, apparently I had a I was sleeping on a whole bunch of levels for this officer. 
All right, Scathy. Do you have any officers for me? No. No officers. However, I am here to deliver you from your crisis. Oh, never mind. There's no crisis. They were all... The prices were all out of date. Quack, quack. Well, the thing is, I found an officer on my very first Pirate World Karas, like, right as soon as the game started, I found this perfect, perfect aggressive officer. And I haven't found a single officer since. I, maybe I saw some that were timid or something, but none that I wanted to get. Okay, I, I'll actually take an augmented drive field. That's good. And I am going to take um, a couple crew, because I always need crew. And I, what's the price on these Marines? It's actually a pretty good price. Okay, so I'm up to 300 Marines now. So that'll let me raid a little better. I think it might be time for me to try and find a world to, to colonize, if for no other reason than to have a base of operations and a little bit of income. However, I don't want to explore because exploring is boring. So let's see if there's, let's see what, where might be a decent colony for me. I don't know. <laughs> hey, I see lots of chat that I completely missed. Apparently it was a salamander that hit me. Curse you, salamanders. Uh, yes, I am a mastermind, as you can see by uh, the fact that I, I keep reload, reloading saved. Uh, reckless are crackheads. Yes, they are, but I love crackheads. Let's see. Biff says, are you able to play as a pacifist? like a peaceful merchant or an explorer. Yeah, you can. So the game has really fun combat, and in some ways it channels you into combat. But if you take a look, there is a huge map to explore here. Uh, and, and, and exploring that map, sorry, I was reading the chat. Exploring the map can get you a lot of money, and you can find ruins, you can find... Um, systems that are guarded by something. Dun dun dun. There's it's really fun to go exploring your first time. When I when I fired up the first version with exploring, I just had a I had a blast. Yeah, and Zenthalus says um Yeah, I should find the Legio. I should. Do you know where they are? Zenthalus? Because I haven't seen them spawn yet. I thought they were one of the dynamically spawning systems. Maybe I should just colonize... Um, I could take over Salamanca. Salamanca is really bad. Um, I mean, probably the best thing would be to try to take over... Um, one of these like hegemony systems or something, but they can get they can get a little pissy when you take over their systems for obvious reasons. Okay, I might I might go to um, Tia. Maybe there's a planet in that system, but let's let's first just take a look for. Um, well, there's only three days left in the Tritachian bounty. So I'm actually not going to pop down here just yet. One thing that I noticed is that I got these big bounty hunters after me, and I'm moving at burn 8, and you could see how that ship was able to actually catch me. Which is really no good. So I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about um, ditching these heavy cruisers at some point. We will really see. We'll really see what I want to do. Um, 
I am, however, going to get rid of this HVD and put it on another dual flak. That was really... Like, just watching the showing that this ship was having against the fighters, Dominator should have better point defense than what I was pumping out. I also didn't really like the performance of the Annihilators. Um, uh, they were just getting shot down, so I think I'd prefer the opportunistic harpoons for the big strike. Let's see, Zenthalus says, are you not using Nex and just Vera? Nope, I got, I got Nex on. I got Nex on as well. But I haven't I haven't seen the Legio system at all, which is kind of weird. Okay, what could I do to make this a better ship? I could give it to an officer with missile mods. So, shooty Olympus, you get my Dominator. I am going to take um, this Eagle. That'll be fun. <laughs> ah, and I actually have um I actually have some guns here. Alright, so I'll see what I can do with an eagle. And I'm just going to switch this around so I don't have to press buttons in the start of a fight. Oh, I don't have Talon Shipworks enabled this time. I actually have no I have no ship adding mods activated. Let's say Biff said, I saw how little of the map you explored, how about how long you played the current campaign. I have played the current campaign about three, four, five hours. Five hours? Wow, really five hours? No, four hours. Um, but I am not exploring this time. I am trying to do... Oh, I just hit undo instead of weapon groups. Damn it. I am trying to do a um, piracy-only campaign. And it, it, it has its fun. It has its fun moments. I like, I like it in a lot of ways. But it also has its frustrating things because I can't go places to get, you know, easy officers. Every place I go, I have to sneak into. Okay, I'm not going to hit undo this time. My weapon groups are good. Uh, this, is a, this is a fine. This is a fine loadout. How about these other ships? Is there anything I can do with them? Nah, you're fine. Okay. Okay, okay. There we are. Yeah, as Multidimensional said, um, you can play the entire game just staying in the core sectors, and that's actually what I'm that's what I'm doing right now. All right, let me save real quick. So I am just going to. I really do want a colony of my own, though. So I might. I might explore these orange these orange stars that are very close. And I'm gonna go I'm gonna go take a look at Tia. Um I wish I could go bounty hunting. I really do. But I can't. Just because all the all the Vera sector bounties are way too far away from the core. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna pop over to uh to Tia for a moment. Yeah, yeah. I'm letting that hegemony patrol kill the um Tritachian ships in the hope that they will assign a new bounty. Alright, I need to check what is this monthly expenses? Okay, it's mostly crew payroll, that's okay. 
like I said, I'm playing with Ruthless Sector, which makes me, um, which uh, lowers the commissioned money by 90%. Yes, I did check out Duzak. Unfortunately, Duzak was a bust. It just has some barren worlds. Um, yeah, kind of a pity. Um, I eh, go. You gonna get any kills? Sure. Oh, that was not worth it. I shouldn't have done that. But whatever. I didn't feel like actually chasing them. Okay, I'm gonna pop over to uh, Tia. See how it do. You can tell I have an inefficient fleet by how fast my fuel goes down. Alright, the only thing here is an irradiated world. That is pretty useless. Alright, back up to... Um, really not much, not much opportunity for making money here. I'm going to see what it would take to conquer Salamanca. It's just, it's a world. If I don't like it later, I can, um, I can give it to the pirates. They might have decent defenses, though. Oh, hey, Sindri and Dictrite and Hegemony went to war. That is fun. Wow, there's a lot of there's a lot of debris over here. That's interesting. All right, what are you doing? You're offering me work. Yeah, I I'm not hauling cargo, even if it's in the Esconia system. Um, let's see. So their ground defense is way too high for me to be able to do this straight off the bat. But I could, um, I could do an orbital bombardment. That might give this pollution. <laughs> I could also just raid it and All right. Why, yes, officer. I just am a humble merchant buying some fuel. We're going to do a tactical bombardment. Ah, that that painting is so evocative. David does such great work. Okay, now let's see. Let's see what a raid would do now. So their ground defense is absolutely crippled by the bombardment, which is exactly what I wanted. And I am just going to invade this planet. And I am going to take this for myself. Stand and shields, cool. Yeah, I could go. I could go beat up the Ludwig Path. That's not a bad idea. Ongoing really extra factor remains. It will have to be subdued. Oh no, rebellion against the player. Um, so I will deliver heavy armament. I'm actually not exactly sure 
how um, how these work. To be perfectly honest, I don't I don't really know how rebellions work because I haven't played Next in a while. Okay, it doesn't seem to be that bad. I mean, my stability is at zero, but that's just because I freaking just nuked the place. However, this means that I can, I can now store my guns. Yay! Okay, and I might as well, um, might as well just shove these in the resource stockpile. It probably won't do anything. And I can look at my colony. So it's giving me minus 40k a month. That's great. That's great. So I'm actually going to shut down all of this. Because it's costing me a lot of money. And then after things, there we go. So after 60 days, this'll, this'll get back up and running. Yeah, oh, so this is a new feature. Well, I'll, I'll see what happens with this rebellion. stabilize this. I don't. It's fine. If I lose a colony, I lose a colony and I'll just resettle it. It's not hard to settle a colony, especially in a system where I'm already am. However, by scrapping all those industries, I actually made a lot of money. <laughs> I could grant this autonomy and just walk away with a couple hundred thousand. That's really interesting, but I don't because I, I want the stockpile. Oh, cool. It is time to make the faction. Do you folks in chat have any um, any particular faction name you'd want? Let's see, it's gonna be, it's gonna be pirates, I mean. Let's see, I don't know why Namoros is, is popping up in the name gen. Let's see, this character's name is Ten Fingered Tim. <laughs> oh, that's very interesting, Xanthalus, that Nex has completely changed how they did requisitioning fleets. Interesting, all right. I will have to check that out, as I have not played since that system came out. Or rather, this is my playthrough. Ten Finger Tim. I guess this is the Ten Finger Tims. That is going to be. <laughs> There's more than one of us. Okay, well, I have been. Um, I've been going for about two and a half hours now, and I think it is time for me to sign off, but let me do a quick check to see if there's anyone else playing Star Sector, and I can I can shoot you all over there. So let me just take a look. Anyone? Anyone at all? No, it's just me. I'm the only one playing Star Sector. So good enough. None of my none of my friends are streaming. No raid for me today. Uh, thanks to all of you for coming out and watching. Uh, nice to see Ray May, Zenthalus, other people. Last hamster, I think I saw you last time too. It's really nice to see you all again. I'm going to be trying to stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays at probably around. I don't know, 40%? Sorry, not 40%. I was reading I was reading Zentalus' uh, comment. At probably around, um, like, 
I don't know, 2 or 4 p.m., probably like 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time is going to be my stream times. This isn't completely set in stone, but tentatively, Tuesday, Thursday, 4 p.m. PST. Okay. Let's see. And what did Zentless just say? They also nerfed the cash you get from selling off industries from 50% to 40% of the original cost of taking over plants, selling off everything and passing the colony over to another faction. Is less rewarding now, but not by much. Yeah, like I just made a good 200,000 from selling off those industries. Um, it's good. I'm going to have to rebuild them eventually if I actually want to keep this world. Okay, well, I said I was going to take off, so I should take off. Great to see everyone. I'll hope to see you in two days. Bye.